<laughs> Erica, good morning. As I click on go live, the generator starts. <laughs> ah, good times. It's all right. It's just, you know, we just figure it out. Erica, how are we feeling today? Erica, I had no idea that I did not see the M30 with snatches today. So I'm chuckling after the million snatches we did yesterday. Crew, I'm so sorry. I did not realize the generator was clicking on as we started, but that's all right. Willie, good morning. I know I'm literally laughing out loud. So I'm going to actually change the dumbbell movement today. I really hope the generator is for like 10 minutes. I can't remember, but fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sub hang clean and jerks. So if you guys want to chase, what is happening? If you want to sub clean and jerks for the workout today, you can. But we're going to start with our prehab warm up and then we will get into either bodyweight workout or minimal equipment workout. Phillips request. I know, Willie, I'm like cracking up here. Phillips birthday request was just uh, to do the M30 workout, which is awesome. You guys know, check out mayamathlete.com if you need some awesome programming. Diana, good morning. Diana, how's your mom today? But in true Phillips style, he said, and I love this, and I'll say this again when the generator is not so loud. <laughs> oh, but he said, I said, what kind of things would you like to do for your birthday today? And he said, I would love for everyone to do what they like most and have fun. I was like, that's the best answer I've ever heard. It was so awesome. So if you guys want to go road today and just have fun, I mean, that's Philip's request. So. He said uh, he voted for the M30 workout today. And then uh, we all know uh, Philip has always been uh, the machine, the cardio. Philip always back in the beginning when I first got to know Philip was doing all sorts of machines during quarantine. He was always on the assault bike, like literally lived on the assault bike. So I asked him what his favorite aerobic capacity workouts would be. And I said across all machines because I know with everyone has different equipment. Um, so we'll have um, a machine piece that we can either do together based on time today or um, maybe come back this afternoon. Will, if you want to do it later on or just something for you guys to get done this week. Uh, so I'll put that up to his favorite um, cardio piece. All right. And he said he's, he's coaching this afternoon. I tried to uh, lure him to come on the live and uh, he's, he's getting ready to coach this evening. So, all right, thing. let's talk about our prehab. All right, gang, on a scale of one to 10, how loud is the generator? <laughs> and then if Philip pops on, I'll tell you more of my favorite Philip stories. And then if he doesn't, then I'll just tell you once the uh, the generator test stops. <laughs> so typically, I'm in Cocoa Beach right now, and everyone, because of the you know hurricanes and stuff, knock on wood, we don't have any of those. Uh, there are a lot of generators, so the generators to make sure when you actually need them are working, they run a generator test <laughs> uh, once a week they test themselves apparently i forgot and had no idea this one is wednesday apparently at 9 a.m <laughs> oh goodness all right so let's talk about our prehab Oh, I'm so happy. So you guys, I, okay, well, that makes me, uh, that makes me happy. 
Okay, I'm 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 fine with that. Well, you guys, so I get up this morning, early this morning, around six or so, and you know how I'm like, oh, the internet's gonna be better in the morning. Nothing, no internet. I couldn't even get on my phone to tell you guys there was no internet. So, and I'm like, is SpaceX using all the internet and all the cell phone in Cocoa Beach? <laughs> how is that possible? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's it, it cracks me up. So that's why we were an hour behind. And this is no exaggeration. I spent the first hour trying to figure it out and then randomly it like clicks up and it's like, you can stream in 2K and I'm like, no. So anyway, it just, I was cracking up. Thank you. I, I wear that to honor a priest family friend who passed away, who is a huge mentor of mine. It's, he was incredible human being. An Irish priest. <laughs> I don't think that's really an Irish accent, but that was my, my best effort. Alex, what's happening? Alex, I was really thinking like an hour echo by two and I asked Philip, uh, he has to coach and he's like, let's just keep it in typical uh, M30 flow. And I was like, all right. But I did ask him for his favorite um, machine piece. So we'll have that. And of course it's like max effort. I would rather do the echo bike moderately for an hour than uh, 30 second max effort burst. <laughs> with long rest, but of course he comes back with that, which is great. So we can either do the machine piece after we do M30 or we can do it on our own uh, sometime this week. Up to you guys. Um, so, <laughs> uh, no, Alex, but uh, they, I have on a TikTok, you know, my other favorite comments. <laughs> have to, I'll have to explain that to the tribe sometime. <laughs> uh so alex you know, we have uh inside joke about lashes and uh i get my lashes done it's kind of like my favorite random thing about you know if you work out and you don't have time to groom or you're sweaty all the time you know at least have your lashes but the funny thing about it is it's like to someone that's never seen it they literally tape your eyes shut and use uh <laughs> like um hospital grade glue and glue some fluffy ones individually to your lashes i go to kendra and cookville but she's amazing uh but it, it is it's like um i always say if you do lashes you could be a heart surgeon <laughs> because of the amount of just but it cracks me up alex because uh if you can just imagine people laying down with their eyes taped shut. <laughs> it's, it's a specialty for sure. <laughs> oh. All right, so let's get into our prehab today. You guys, thank you for showing up for Philip's birthday workout. Uh, it's funny you ask, Erica. I actually, I don't think I'm allergic to anything, but I did have, the only thing that ever happened was I had a little bit of reaction to the tape and it looks like someone took a blowtorch to my eyelids, but then I got over that. But <laughs> it doesn't hurt at all. No, it doesn't feel like anything. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> Erica, you might not like it. <laughs> and it's an ebb and flow, Alex. They're fluffy for like a week, and then, you know, it's I'm pretty brutal <laughs> on them. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. Good, you know, thanks for the question. <laughs> it's story time, Alex. <laughs> Oh, all right. So again, we're going to bring up Alex. Here's my challenge for you. I Can you come up with a part two double birthday workout? Because he, it was so nice. Did you hear me say, Alex, that uh, I asked Philip like the movements, what he wanted to do. And he said, I just want everyone to do what they like the most and to have fun. But in that sense, Alex, can you come up with a, a part two that we can do uh, this week? That's like something brutal. I feel like we need to do something completely brutal for Philip. I'm happy to come up with a second one too, but I'm I'm fulfilling the request. And that was the request for perhaps for our sake after the snatches yesterday. You guys, I literally was like <laughs> I wouldn't say cracking at my energy level. I told you guys yesterday I ran in the heat of the day in Florida. It was my first day. I was like a zombie in the live yesterday and Thank you guys for hanging with me and for getting me through that. I think I just like 
did not drink enough water after the run and wasn't used to being in 90 degrees for an hour straight that I was like, it was great. <laughs> but we survived. Dave, oh my gosh, Dave, we've missed you. Oh, I'm so happy you're back. Oh, we love you too. Where have you been? You've been at MIA for a while. Have you been getting any fitness? Alex says, both for the workout. Seven rounds, 10 cal echo, one to two work for us. So Alex, okay, funny story. We'll get into this rehab soon, I swear. But I have to show you this because this is hilarious. We're gonna have to tell Philip this too. Uh, Alex, <laughs> check this out. This is what uh, Philip requested for his, the cardio piece. When I asked for the favorite aerobic capacity piece, he gave me two options. He, and the second one is exactly kind of what you just said, but you said uh, more Nolan rest. But the first piece, it's like, it's very similar. So he said, so for the cardio piece today, guys, we'll do 30 seconds on, 2.30 off, or whenever you have time this week to do this, just in solidarity to fill up, you know, tag him, show him some love. And it's 30 seconds on, 2.30 off, five sets of max cal distance machine, 90 to 95% effort. Totally fill up, it's totally fill up. And trying to maintain your score throughout. So that's like maintaining your intensity. And then the second one, which is I think the one that I would probably ask for, uh, 10 minute EMOM, 10 to 8 cal row, 12 to 10 cal bike, time cap 30 seconds. So you're basically going max effort that 30 seconds and you have 30 seconds rest. So that, I mean, both would be brutal, but that's funny, Alex, very similar. Hey, the little bear says, uh, she, uh, there was a big old lizard, like a, not an iguana sized lizard, but the, you know, the combination between uh, a normal lizard and, uh, oh, it looks like a gecko. It looked like the Geico Gecko, just not on two two legs. It was on four. This is Alex's suggestion for uh, Philip's workout. <laughs> so perfect. Yeah, no, I think yours is too, actually, Alex. More intensity. Gross. Maybe I'll do that today too. We'll see. We'll see where we uh, we all land today. But we'll get through the prehab and M30 and then... Uh, decide if we're going to do the machine workout together at some point um, today or this week, or if you guys are just ready to group. I feel like you guys will want to save it for the afternoon when we're live together, but that's just me guessing. Alex, what did you say? Uh, I know. Isn't that cool? <laughs> um, I know. It's a good logo, too. What is your guys' schedule today, gang? All right, I swear we're gonna get started on our prehab. Just wanted to make sure we uh, we told plenty of uh, Philip stories today too, gang. Sure, everyone has their favorite Philip story. <laughs> Brian, good morning. How are you today? Isn't that neat, Alex? I agree. I think yours is a more challenging workout. Okay, so back to our prehab. Willie, did you do M30 at 6 a.m.? Erica, have you done, when do you do, you do your M30s early too. Have you done this yet? Okay, so our prehab before we get into Mayhem Athlete 30 today is, oh, I lost our, okay. So we're gonna do 30 calf raises, 20, 30, oh my gosh, 20 calf raises, 20 tip races. I promise I didn't run a 90 degrees today. I'm on completely here. Not a, not zombie like, I hope. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Four rounds. Oh my gosh, that's fun. What was the weight on the snatch for that one, Alex? That, so Alex did M60 this morning, which is a great workout too. Erica did this a couple hours ago. I know, Dana, is that the little guy? So <laughs> Erica, watch me, got it. Do you work out when they're there? Sometimes they work out with you, right? Ah, okay. Well, I did this bodybuilding today. All right, you do M30 at lunch. Erica, what's the scout report? Alex, what's the scout report? 
for uh, the M60 because that's similar. Nice, Brian. What are you doing while you're in Vegas? That sounds so fun. There's so much to do there. All right, guys. So we're going to start our pre-have a warm-up with 20 cap raises and 20 tip raises. So we have running on the agenda today. I obviously don't have a runner here, and I'm not going to run away from you guys. Never. So I'm going to do standing biker for the run today. You can also do a minute of pineys. Or if you're out on the road and you can't necessarily measure, you can always do a uh, one-minute run as well. Heart rate through the roof. Alex, what did your heart rate get you? Willie, from those V-ups? Oh, my gosh, Willie. I'm going to have to go back and do the uh, M30 from yesterday. Willie's abs are sore from his 200-plus V-ups. Brian, you getting any fitness in while you're in Vegas? I actually went to across the gym while I was there. It was really fun. I've only done once. <laughs> Okay, guys, so your clap raises, I fear if I walk away from you at all, you won't hear me. So at least it doesn't seem loud to you guys, because to me, it's super loud. Uh, but you guys know you're going to walk your feet back with your heels still on the floor. Or if you have a ledge or a step, you can do it on a ledge or a step. And you're going to go to your tippy toes and all the way back down for 20. And then you're going to find a wall or a place that you can press your back up against you and you're going to walk those feet out again with your feet flat on the ground and you're going to raise those toes to the sky and you guys with me right now you know uh you guys are very very familiar with these underrated tip raises <laughs> i just i believe that so much I, willie have you felt like did the cap races and tip races have they gotten easier to you at all and have you started adding weight to them diana does uh corey have you do the cap and tip race i'm sure he does but we're going to have 20 cap raises, 20 tip raises. I will holler out those details to you again as I go back on the bike to do them. I'm just going to be able to hold on to the bike. And then we're going to go do 10 VMO squats, meaning your heel elevated squat. Um, we, Diana was talking about yesterday how many ATG squats, knees over toes guy squats she does with Corey and how it's helped her knees. So I just, I know some of this gets redundant. I'm going to start bringing some other things, but I just want to encourage you guys to get some light bands. So we can start or, um, incorporating some bands into this prehab because I'm going to kind of, you guys, I feel like have leveled up so much. Just, it's really just progression of fitness. I'm just so dang proud of how far you guys have come and how fit you are. So I want to level up our prehab a little bit too and just have some banded options. Um, and then I'll start eventually describing more of the loading options, adding weight to these movements. We've done them for a couple months now. You know, um, Willie, Diana, Erica. So, if you are staying consistent with them, there's going to be a time and a place to start loading them, Willie. You know that sort of thing. Um, and we'll just start adding some other progressions to them. So, if people are just joining us, they can start at the beginning. But for you guys, you can keep progressing, keep getting stronger, keep that body feeling good. Once I know, Alex, isn't it funny that when you get your heart rate super high and you're like your whoop or your watch is like, oh, it's this. And I'm like, no, it's not. It was definitely 200. <laughs> 100%. Ah, Willie, get us started speaking up. Um, Willie, you can start adding some weight to these, some lightweight. Even if you had, like, even if you brought your vest with you um, for the calf raises and the tip raises, there's actually, uh, you know, the knees over toes guys, they sell some things with that. But there's some things we can do with the band, too, because... I love the, uh, I bought the tip thing because I just, my knees were bugging me so much, but I think it's a worthwhile investment in the long run, but it's a little bit more expensive. And I think we can do a lot of that stuff with bands as well. So I'm going to start with the banded motions, uh, and then maybe, uh, down the line a year from now, will if you still, if your tips are so, so strong, then, uh, then maybe I would encourage that because I definitely feel it on those. Alex, have you done the um, the tip races with the, uh, it's not a machine, it's literally like a T. I think I have one here actually, but all right, I'm going to grab my wedge really quick, guys. I'm going to do those cap raises, those tip raises, uh, the VMO squats, and then I'll uh, go over the kneeling press and the dead bug. Let me grab my wedge really quick. Really, thank you. Whoop. There it is. I'm assuming it's four minutes, so the Jeff. Oh, you guys, 
Christmas miracle. <laughs> And we're back. Oh, it's so nice not to be hollering. Although you say it doesn't really sound too different. So that makes me happy for you guys. All right. So, some half raises, some raises. Rock and roll. Alex, what was M60 again today? It was kind of similar. Was there any strength? Did you do any strength? 21 cal row, 15 burpees, 9 st Ooh, I like that. Although after uh, whew, this, the amount of snatches we did yesterday, holy man. <laughs> Back up against the wall. Haha, -ha, that's kind of funny. Um, and we're going to do our 20 tip raises. Oh, well, Alex, have a nice breakfast. Eat some pancakes for us. <laughs> oh, yay. Will do. Alex, we'll keep you posted. Oh, Erica, I'm still like, I'm still recovering from yesterday's. <laughs> it was good. Long but good. Like I said, you guys pulled me through that. Have a great day, Alex. Val, Val, how are you? Valerie, we're here for Philip's birthday. Valerie, how are you? Are you doing M60 these days too or M30? How are the kiddos? Are you guys having a good summer? Val's always doing all the fun things with her family too. One of the most fun, happy humans I've had the privilege to get to know too, Val. Just like the rest of the tribe. You guys, we have just literally the best group. Erica, Willie, Diana. Val, just my favorite humans. You guys are awesome. Okay, so we're going to do our 20 tip raises and our 10 VMO squats. Just remember, guys, difference in VMO squat is instead of pushing our hips back, we're going to drive our knees forward over our toes. I'm a big fan. I asked you, Diana, what your favorite uh, knees over toes piece with Corey has been. I really, I'm a big fan of the, I love the ATG squat, and I also like the VMO squat. I just like feel it stretching my shins and my calves so much. Amanda, good morning. Amanda, I was wondering where you were. Are you getting into some bodybuilding this morning? Broken elbow. Val, what happened? Oh my gosh. Amanda, what's on the cooking menu today? <laughs> Early question. <laughs> Val, oh my gosh, fill us in. We'll be praying for a speedy recovery. Holy mackerel. We also have just like a nice long prayer list that goes with our crew, which is awesome too. I'm very thankful for that. You can also raise them on a plate. 
lemon juice, avocado oil, and chipotle Southwest seasoning. Oh my gosh, that sounds good. I made the Philly cheesesteak egg rolls last night for my dad. Oh my gosh, they were good. Oh, uh, will you tell Tony I say hi? Tony, we've missed you. We have to work out with Willie sometime so we can cheer you on. That sounds so good, Amanda. Also, I made um, like a spicy mayo, but I've used this um, this truffle hot sauce, Amanda, and it is so smooth and creamy. It is like out of this world. And I was like, you know, I thought, you know, truffle oil and things, I thought it was kind of a gimmick, to be honest. And then I tried it because they were out of the, like the clean sriracha hot sauce that I usually use. And it is so good. Oh, uh, monkey feet. Yep. The hand, the monkey feet's a big one too, Diana, but I think we can do that with band too. Like not the exact same, but similar. So I think I'm going to try that too with the group. Yes. Monkey feet are awesome. I need to work on Nordics, Diana. I need to get you guys doing that too. They're so great for your like long-term hamstring health. And that's the thing I need the most in the world, Diana. And of course that I neglect because it's like kind of the hardest thing to just freestyle anywhere because you have to have something that kind of holds your feet down. Allie, he decided to hurdle a bush. Oh no. What? He had surgery? Wait, he already had one surgery, Valerie? Am I reading that correctly? And they have to go back in. Oh my gosh, Diana, couch stretch. Okay, Diana. This is me asking friend to friend for your accountability. You got to get me to do more couch stretch. I need to get you guys to do more couch stretch. Couch stretch to me is one of the most, like just the way my body is and where my tightness is. Couch stretch is so challenging and I definitely need to do it more. And I want you guys to be doing it more. Great reference, Diana. Very wise. And the couch stretch, I think, is in like the top five exercises we need to be doing for like to keep from having back pain and overall health. It's important. <laughs> Val, I need to make a PDF of it for you guys. If you guys can remind me and keep asking me, probably it's probably going to take about 20 times. <laughs> you guys don't. We, we, I need to do it more formulated, and that's something I'm working on. So that I'm, I'm working on getting a bunch of these pieces a little more organized for us so we can streamline this and just map out the progress too, because it's so, so important. Okay. 20 VMO squat. Gosh, you guys, see, can you tell from yesterday and this weekend, I just have missed catching up with you guys so much, <laughs> right? It, Diana loves couch stretch and hanging from a pole bar. Diana, I love that. Dana, I haven't tried really pressing like let me see that. <laughs> In honor of you. Okay, VMO squats. Dana, how are you feeling today? Are you feeling better from your cold or sickness? Hopefully you're bouncing back. VMO squat, guys. So instead, like I said, usually we initiate by driving our hips back. This time we're gonna drive our knees over our toes. We can hang out in the bottom here for a second. I don't know about you guys, but the stretch I feel in my calves and shins from this. So this is part of the knees over toes kick protocol. This is one of my favorite favorites. It just kind of hits the mark for me. The one thing I will say about the VMO squats, guys, if you have any pain at all, you're going to go above or to the point of where you do not have it. This should be the point of you. And really as well, for people that want to add weight, you can always counterbalance this with a plate or balance like I said, a lot of these I think you can do in your weight that's for the added portion instead of necessarily different equipment for the day. If you look at the front of our equipment, that's why I'm going to say band. It's bands. I think you guys all have a good for the day, and I know you don't have any. Now, do you think it's band? All right, guys, so you're going to have 10 feet of our slide. You can park in the bottom of those a little bit as well. Oh, that feels good. So, you know, the salt water is really, uh, it cures my soul. I know that. <laughs> Golly, couch stretch hurts so good. You guys would chuckle. I think I've done couch stretch with, with you guys maybe twice. But if you saw it from the side angle, my hip tightness. Oof, I'm so far away from the wall. Definitely a work in progress. We all have that thing, right? 
that you know you need to do that is definitely, at least in my mind, you know, everyone has their things. But perhaps that's how I will cool down today, a little couch stretch. <laughs> All right, team. So after your 10 VMO squats, we're going to do a little bit of low core here, Amanda, throwing in our half kneeling press and our dead bugs again. Uh, tomorrow I'll come at you, I'll come at you guys with some bands. Uh, Amanda, there's a lot of low core activation exercises with bands, so we're going to do a little bit of that tomorrow. I know. Erica, it's like some of the things you know you need to do. I need to integrate those in. I just, it like hurts so, hurts so good, kind of. <laughs> oh, Willie, that makes me so happy. Willie just postponed a meeting for 30 minutes so he could stay live. That's literally the best thing I've ever heard. Willie, that's so nice. All right, let's do our half kneeling press and our dead bucks so we can get right in this. Willie's staying live longer. Oh, I just love it. Okay, half kneeling press. Again, you're going to hear me say this a lot. But just a reminder, in your half kneeling press, you don't want any arching. When I say keep that core tight, that just means you can slightly tilt that pelvis thing about the your core and just not arching. Don't know how to squeeze your core, just make it not arch in your back. So we're gonna have that half kneeling press. So I'm gonna using my right arm, so my left leg will be forward at 90 degrees. I'm gonna think about keeping that core nice and tight, keep keeping that bicep to my ear. You're gonna feel the opposite side of the body working. You're gonna feel it in your low back, but that core is also gonna be working to keep that body nice and tight and keep that spine in alignment. Yeehaw! Then we're going to do 10 dead bug. Same idea, guys. Again, I know it's hard to hear me when I go back that direction. So what we want on the dead bug is when you're laying flat on the ground, we don't want any day like this. We don't want any arch in your back. We want to think about pressing that back to the ground, and that's how you're going to show your activation of your core in the dead bug. And then you're going to work on extending that arm, which is going to be great for your overhead mobility, and also it's good for your hips extending that leg. But I really, really want you to, Think about keeping that back flat. So almost a tempo style movement in that dead bug. Amanda is really, really going to activate that low core. And again, you might not feel it, but it's going to be working. And over time, you're going to gain a little more conscious awareness of the low core activation. But we're going to ease our, continue to ease our way into this. Tomorrow, we're going to add some bands for that low core activation. And again, everyone wants low abs. So here we go, guys. Mixed into our prehab. <laughs> All right, so I have you in the press. We're going to pick up a choice if you do not have a dumbbell. You can plank or on your knees. So again, I would have a dumbbell right here, so you know my own back. So you can forward at 45. I really are coming with a dumbbell, but again, here we are. So again, I think about my back, my spine, nice and straight, no arch in my back. That's how I'm activating that core. And then we're going to squeeze that by the ear. And you're going to have status on the right. rock and roll. So if you couldn't hear me while I was laying flat over there, but I really want you to think about tempo style. So almost like a three count. So again, if that right arm is going back, that left leg is forward. And I want you to think the entire three count pressing that back against the ground that is activating 
your core and your low core, and you'll really, really start to feel that dead bug. You know, you can passively do a dead bug, like I said, they let it underneath the back, and it's hard to feel your core working. But when you're thinking about pressing that back against the ground, you're really going to feel a massive difference in that dead bug movement. All right, so you guys are going to go through that three times, 20 calf raises, 20 tib raises, 10 half kneeling press right and left, or 10 push-ups of your choice, and then you're going to go into 10 dead bugs. Do them tempo style, nice and slow, think about pressing that back against the ground. All right, on to Philip's birthday workout. Like I said, Philip has requested Mayhem Athlete 30 today. And like I said, it was so nice. <laughs> Philip's message back. I would love for everyone to do what they like most and have pure fun. I just love that answer. I was like, oh my gosh. But then he follows up with, and let's make people challenge themselves somehow. I love it. Like, so what he was saying by that is the Mayhem Athlete 30 workout today crew is... I'm going to show you a minimal workout first. He said he followed up with, and let's make people challenge themselves somehow. So in honor of Philip today in his birthday workout, he was saying, whether it be a heavier dumbbell than you're used to or running faster, everyone knows where they can challenge themselves in one specific area. So that was his message to me. So Philip wants you to find a way to challenge yourself today, guys. So if it's going a little bit heavier on that dumbbell, if it's running a little faster than you're comfortable with, I just really like that. A, he said he just wanted you to have fun. He said, and I loved it this. He said, have pure fun. So whatever it is that's fun today, if this workout isn't fun to you, find a workout that's fun. That's Philip's birthday wish. And then he wants you to find a way to challenge yourself in typical Philip style. <laughs> it's not just uh, fun. He's like, okay, but it has to be really hard. <laughs> so the minimal equipment, equipment version of our workout today is we are going to do four sets and we're going every four minutes. So when you finish the amount of work, you have the remainder of time until four minutes as a rest. And that's going to be 200 meter run or one minute of high knees. You could also do machine of your choice if you do not have a place to run or a runner. Then you're going 15 lateral burpee over the dumbbell and 10 dumbbell hang snatches. If you hung with us yesterday, you know we did a bazillion snatches. I did not look at the workout today, sorry gang. <laughs> so you can sub dumbbell hang clean and jerk today as well. That's what I'm going to be doing from our bazillion. That's a real scientific mathematical term there. Bazillion snatches yesterday. So body weight version. And then I'm going to throw up here as well. Phillip's request. I said, Philip, you have to at least give us your aerobic capacity machine workout of choice. Anyone that knows Philip knows he is no stranger to loving a super challenging machine workout. So we'll have one of those as an option for you guys to get done this week, probably do it together sometime in the afternoon this week, or if you guys want to do it today, you guys let me know. So body weight version is going to be 200 meter run or one minute up. I mean, guys basically running in place, infinitely more challenging than you think. You can also do burpees, you could do jump rope, you could sub whatever machine you have. If you haven't have a machine, that's body weight, or you go for a run, then you're doing 50 lateral burpees. 50. Wow, that would have been a real challenging birthday workout. 15 lateral burpee over the line and 10. A lateral burpee is just going to be popping then you're going to go into your X jumps if you're doing body weight. So after your 15 lateral burpees, so it's kind of like 20, 15, 10, 200 meter, then 15, then your 10 X jump. Kelsey's suggesting no jump spaces moving from that burpee. So it's basically a squat arm crossing that body. But I want you guys to think about doing that chest is nice and tall. So I'm squatting, but my chest is up. That's the jump version. So it's basically an air squat working that arm across the body. Now, if your hand doesn't make it to your toe, I don't need that to come around today. So as far down as you can go mobility-wise, we're keeping that chest nice and tall. I don't want these to be full of around the cut I want you to take more of an air squat, keeping that chest nice and tall, just working across that side of the body. So 
your choice on that one. And again, we're going every four minutes. So you're completing the run, the burpee, and the X jump, and then you're having the remainder of the time rest. Erica, how much time uh, were you having rest on that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, Diana, great call. And honestly, it's funny because I almost got out my notepad just to draw. I was just not happy typing it in. Uh, so I always drew pictures for birthday workouts. And I like to draw. Remember, Diana, I drew <laughs> Valentina. I did not do Valentina justice. <laughs> Willie, drew Willie a car. Why to bring that back? I agree. I thank you for saying that. That makes my heart happy. <laughs> Erica, each set took her 2.30, so she had about 90 seconds rest. Erica, what did you think was the most challenging part of the workout? All right, guys, so these movements, again, you're going to have 200-meter run or one minute of high knees. I'm going to do, let's see here, about, I will probably do 500-meter standing bike as the sub for the run. Erica says burpees were the most challenging part. <laughs> oh, Diana, you're so sweet. I am totally going to sit down after this, too, after I get my prehab and my couch stretching and uh, catch up on some notes. So I'm going to send you those pictures, too, and my artwork idea for you. We're, we're trying to see if Diana is an uh, artist for hire. <laughs> I'm hoping. <laughs> I have a, a yoga mat idea, and I need an artist. So, Diana... Here's looking at you. <laughs> Erica says, uh, okay, so the burpee's most challenging part. I under How's the burpee challenge going this month, guys? Speaking up. All right, team. So, again, you're going to 200 meter run. You can do a minute of high knees or machine. Your choice. I'll never forget the high knee workout. I did my gradual training, and I was like, it was so challenging. <laughs> so, I will, it'll forever be ingrained in my head. Great sub. Now we're going to go 15 lateral burpees over the dumbbell. Only difference on that lateral burpee, guys, is that you do not have to extend your hips at the top. So most burpees, when you hop up, you have to extend those hips at the top. On your lateral burpees, you're allowed to dig low and fast over that dumbbell or that line. Oh my gosh, Dana, that makes me happy. <laughs> Willie, that's perfect. So when we do the cardio piece, I'll, I'll make a drawing for Philip and uh, we'll do pizza. <laughs> Does that mean then we get to make pizza? Can we go live making pizza? I really want to do a community live with that. I tried to, you know, dangle the carrot to get him to go live with us, but he had to coach and probably comb his hair to coach. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. We'll see. We'll ask Philip if he comes this here before he coaches. So then you're going 15 lateral burpee over the dumbbell, and then we're going 10 dumbbell hang snatches if you're doing it as prescribed for AM Athlete 30, or if you did the one gazillion snatches with us yesterday, we're going to do hang clean. So if you were doing 10 snatches from M30, you're going to do 10 dumbbell up to step hang position, and snatch walking that dumbbell out to the 10. Comfortable or on the ground, but you're going to bring that dumbbell back to the hang position. So, as you guys heard me say from the ground snatches yesterday, but this is just a very general rule. A lot of times, especially on the hang, we think about swinging it out like a kettlebell. You want to think of it like an actual snatch where it's a jump and shrug. And I say that because you want to keep that dumbbell close to the body to reduce the amount of stress you're putting on the shoulder. So, if you come straight down, then go straight back up. I have a slight swing underneath my body, but then I'm thinking jump and shrug and that dumbbell stays close to my body. So you want to keep that dumbbell nice and tight to the body, reducing that stress on the shoulder, creating a little efficiency for that movement. Again, if you did a million snatches with this yesterday, you can do the hand and jerk option. So same idea, keeping that dumbbell nice and close, dipping and driving overhead. I would challenge you guys if you're doing a kidney jerk. See, I'm catching that dumbbell and in that receiving position, 
I'm going straight to lock out overhead. What's a receiving position? That's my receiving position. So instead of standing here and re-dipping and getting that dumbbell up, I want to use the momentum of the clean and lock that dumbbell out overhead. Capiche? So four sets of that, guys. I really, let's do that this week, really. If I can figure this internet out, and it seems like it's been going great so far. So maybe morning, 7 a.m. clearly doesn't work, but 9 a.m. has been the sweet spot. No internet issues so far. 7 a.m., you guys. Holy mackerel. Ah. Philip has um, a homemade pizza dough recipe, too. Willie actually uh, ordered a mixer for this house because I've been making a lot of bread and dough lately. Germanic can chime in on that. Because it doesn't have the preserve. I mean, it's literally just flour and yeast, and it's so simple, and it comes out amazing. So you could do a homemade pizza dough thing, too, Willie. You just have to wait for it to rise. But I just usually do it right before I work out and then go back in. All right. Rock and roll time. Willie, thanks for changing your meeting. That's so sweet. I'm so excited. All right, team. Actually, I'm going to share one more thing before we get started. This is, again, Philip, our dear friend who loves machines and hard workouts in general. During quarantine, he was on the um, <laughs> assault bike every single day. I'm pretty sure he had to like fix the chain. I don't even know how he did it because everything was closed, but it was some crazy thing that he had figured out. So together at some point this week, or if you need to do it on your own, that's fine too. We are going to challenge you to do this. Tag Philip in it. Also, if you do the workout today, tag Philip in it. Send him some birthday love. His birthday was yesterday. And it is 30 seconds on, two minutes and 30 seconds off for five sets. Max Cal distance machine, meaning you're going 30 seconds, 90 to 95% effort for five sets because you're getting full recovery on that. And you know we're all about our speed and our power day. So we're going to have that this week regardless. And the goal here is you're trying to stay consistent score throughout, but really, really, I mean, this is going to be, this one's going to hurt. <laughs> Good hurt. So we'll get that in sometime, or he's giving you the option to do a 10 minute EMOM of 10 or eight calories on the rower, 12, 10 calories on the bike. And he's saying time cap 30 seconds. So he wants you to go as hard as possible to hit those calories, but don't go over 30 seconds because you're going to need that remaining 30 seconds time to recover. So that will be Philip's cardio piece to complete together this week or on your own, up to you guys. Um, <laughs> really, I get that. Waiting for dough to rise and stuff is, it's, you know, it's a little bit of a pain. <laughs> so I, I'm not, a, you know, I'm understanding. How do I cut out refined carbs? Um, Fabi, the biggest thing is really finding, there's so many good resources online, I'm trying to be better about sharing those things too, uh, about finding what in the food you're eating, are they, you know, do they have tons of refined carbohydrates with them? I think education is the biggest piece, looking at what food you're consuming and addressing first, A, do these have refined carbs? And then if the answer is yes, then substituting other foods. You know, you hear people say all the time, shopping on the outside of the grocery store is, it's actually absolutely true. It doesn't have as many processed things. That's where you're finding the fruits and the vegetables and the meats and things like that. So that would be the first step. You know, obviously you hear people say whole foods, they're not going to have their refined carbs. So just thinking of refined carbs are mostly anything that it has some sort of, sort of processing to it, um, but not processing, like mixing things together, but things that if something can stay on the shelf for a long time and it's not a fruit or a vegetable, which I don't consider them being on the, you know, Thomas, what's happening? Um, that would likely have something that's refined in it. So those, those preservatives can affect a lot of things in the body, but we can talk more about that. I love that question. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Thomas, of course you do, Thomas. Of course. <laughs> Thomas, we miss you. We're just about to get this started. We have, um, Philip wants to do M30 for his birthday, but this on the screen now is the machine work he wants to. Thomas, give it a crack. What, um, again, we're going to about to do M30. <laughs> I'm not even saying that out loud, Thomas. No. Okay, fine. No, Thomas, don't eat Twinkies. Twinkies will probably last another 300 years in their packaging. 
that is not what you should be putting in your body. <laughs> Fatty, no, not on the Twinkies is really where we're at, Thomas. Thomas, okay, so as I start, I'm 30. Willie, thanks for taking the time to hang longer today, too. Thomas, I know that you program crazy, challenging stuff. What would be your best crack at a birthday workout for Philip? I'm just taking everyone's inventory since he threw out M30 today, which I love. And we're about to do it every four minutes. Here we go, gang. Erica's already done with it. Diana, what time are you fitnessing today? Seems like everyone can fitness more in the afternoon. So this is well noted. But it is nice to spend the morning with you guys. <laughs> All right, gang. This is the version I'm going to be doing with you, except I'm going to sub 500 meters standing bike erg. Again, you can sub one minute high knees or a choice. A little bear just found something she likes, apparently. And then we're going 15 lateral burpees, 10. I'm going to go clean and jerks because we did a million snatches yesterday. So basically 20, 15, 10, four sets. We're going every four minutes. All right, team, we're going to start here in a little bit less than one minute. So I have it on my watch. Rock and roll time, team. Four sets going every four minutes, 200 meter run, 15 burpee, 10 snatches or clean and jerks. <laughs> right? That's what I, ooh, that's a good one. Ooh, Diana, yay. Oh my gosh, Diana's finishing now. Hooray. No Twinkies, just Snickers. Oh, I, I can't really say no to Snickers. Like that. Diana, we're just starting 20 seconds. Starting around one here, gang. That's what I mean. I, he's very much. Ten days session to your chest. Thank you. 
So that's about and at 35, start at 32.15. It's like 2.45-ish. Thanks, Val. <laughs> Let's go, Diana. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Why don't you punch a lizard, Willie? Come on, Diana. Here we go. Amanda said that uh, she made a homemade Twinkie once. It wasn't that great, but the dog liked it. <laughs> Tater! Tater, what's happening? I was about to send a pigeon after you. 30 seconds, Diana, starting round two. Again, 200 meter run or machine of choice. Then we're going 15 lateral burpee over that dumbbell. And then we're going 10 hang clean and jerks or 10 snatches. 15 seconds, Diana. We are honoring Philip today. Like I said, Philip's goal in this workout, first birthday workout, was you guys have fun, but go a little harder somewhere. Everyone knows where they can just sneak in a little bit more effort. Starting round two. Two hundred meters run, guys. Starting round two. Starting round two. In the words of Thomas, if you want a king's rest, you don't get the work done faster. However long it takes you to complete those movements, give your remaining time to rest. <laughs> Thomas, good old king's rest. So, David, here we go. Two hundred meter run, a five hundred meter standing break right for you guys. Move right into those burpees. Keep moving, you guys. Come on. All right, come on, Diana. Like Philip says, you gotta push the one close a little bit. Move as fast as you can go. Lower your hips a little bit. Come on. Guys, pick it up before you're ready. Come on, ten snatches or ten, and clean your jerk. Come on, Diana. Done, guys. We got this. Let's go, Diana. Oops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Thomas. Thomas says, uh, uh, Cody, 10 clean and jerk. So it's 200 meter run or one minute machine of choice, 15 lateral burpees. And 10 hang clean and jerks or 10 hang snatches. Got about 35 seconds here, Diana. Thomas once <laughs> had a typo while we were all working out and said, if you go faster, you get a king's rest. What did king's, what was that? What word did it fix, Thomas? So now we joke, the faster you go, the longer break you're going to get. So we call that a king's rest. 15 seconds, Diana. So we're going every four minutes here, guys. So we're doing 200 meter run. 500 meter bike or your machine of choice, 15 lateral burpees, 10 clean and jerks, 
however long that takes you, you have the remainder until four minutes rest. Long, I just, I, can't, I love it. Come on, Diane, here we go. Oh, my second hit. Two, one, starting round three. Go, Diana. Let's go, Diana. Got more in the tank than you think, guys. Come on. Crushing it. Let's go, gang. Brenna, how's it going? Three sets down, one to go. 200 minute run, one minute machine of choice, 15 lateral burpees. Then hang snatch or hang clean and jerk. Forty-five seconds. Thanks, Amanda. Let's go, Diana. Actually, this is a fun one. I feel like did pick a fabulous birthday workout. I'm enjoying this one. I don't know about you guys. Four sets. We're about to start our last one. Diana and I. And like I said, this one's fun. I like built-in rest because we get to hang with the, the crew. <laughs> starting the day off right for Phillip's birthday. All right, Diana, 10 seconds here. We're starting this one on time. No late one for this one. Let's go. Come on, Diana. Let's go, girl. Almost there. Come on, Diana. 
still lending and push it a little harder than you've done so far. Come on, guys. 15 burpees. This is down. It's not a great place to lay down. Let's go. Come on. Let's turn it down. Come on. Don't think about it. Okay, Final set. Come on. That's it, gang. High fives. Dana, nice job. Way to crush it. Crew, heck yeah. <laughs> Great job, guys. We did Phillips' birthday workout. Nicely done, gang. Thank you, Tater. <laughs> Amanda. Amanda with the best puns. She says, Dana, you can hang on. <laughs> Great job, guys. So we just finished four sets. We went every four minutes, meaning you complete the work and you have the remainder until four minutes of rest. We did 200 meter run. I did 500 meter standing biker or one minute machine of choice, 15 lateral burpees over the line or dumbbell, 10 hang dumbbell snatch or clean and jerk. I did clean and jerk because we did a bunch of snatches yesterday. And you could also sub body weight X jump. Diana, great job. High fives. Right, Diana, Philip. So Philip opted for the M30 workout, the Mayhem Athlete 30 workout today. And it was fun. I really, really, not just saying that, this was really, really fun. Sometimes they're like fun, terrible. That was fun. Breather, but moving quickly. And it was, it was Philip's wish that we do something fun, but also that we find a point in the workout, whether pick a heavier dumbbell or push the envelope a little harder than you would on the runner machine. He said he just wanted us to find a way to challenge ourselves, which I think was a great, uh, a great part of the puzzle today. That was fun. Philip's an excellent coach. He's a coach in Poland. So we get to honor Philip today. I feel like I have to make pizza tonight now that we've talked about it, though. <laughs> Although we need a live pizza making session. Diana, I'm so happy you did that. Oh, my gosh. Diana coming off sickness, but always ready to work out. Little bear. Little bear chasing that, uh, that biker. Good luck, buddy. What's that uh, video that's going around the, the internet? But I have little legs. <laughs> that's little bear. <laughs> she has that uh, quite a medium husky body build. <laughs> but little legs. <laughs> I know. Oh, my gosh. Like I said, I'm going to have to pull up. He gave, he sent me a um, homemade pizza dough recipe. And if you guys ever followed it, Philip, way back in the beginning, I feel like his social media used to be mostly pizza, like homemade pizzas. Oh, my gosh. With, like, the freshest ingredients. Uh, they look amazing. <laughs> oh, Philbot. Diana's going to bar hang now. Awesome. She is our hanging queen, Diana. So bar hangs, guys, if you don't know, are so, so great for your long-term shoulder health. Little bear, is this still there? Oh, yeah, okay, I heard the clinking. Um, but super, super important. So we integrate those into our prehab regularly. 
So if you don't bar hang, you need to get, this is your, what do they always say on the internet? If you see this, this is your sign <laughs> from Diana to make sure you do your bar hangs today. So note to self, I need to get our hangs in this week. We also have to get our couch stretch. I'm going to couch stretch after this, guys. I will not be live for the couch stretch because I don't know if you've ever seen the, if you have not seen the Grinch doing yoga, do yourself a favor today and look that up. It makes me laugh out loud every time I see it. That's how I feel doing the couch stretch. Someone might send an ambulance. It might be an uproar. <laughs> Thomas now Phil only eats processed pizza. Thomas, they don't even have processed pizza in home in the homemade in Poland. It's all homemade. <laughs> At least that's how I imagine it because of all the pictures of pizza Phil used to make. Maybe he's just the pizza chef. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, I, he had one with it was um, melon on it. I want to. I don't know if it was cantaloupe or honeydew melon. Oh my gosh, a prosciutto and oh, looks so good. No, Thomas. Well, Thomas says there's Pizza Huts in Poland. They're probably still making their dough homemade. I'm just going to keep saying that in my head. <laughs> Man, <Jeff. laughs> well, I'm just going to uh, keep thinking that uh, <laughs> all of the pizza in Poland is homemade. <laughs> this is what, you know, after our four sets of workout, we talked about homemade pizza. It's fine. <laughs> Now I'm just motivated. Let's see if my mixer gets here in time. I'll try a Phillips homemade pizza dough recipe. All right, team. Well, you guys crushed it. We did our prehab warm up, and then we did our four sets of Mayhem Athlete 30, which is every four minutes, 200 meter run, 15 burpees, 10 dumbbell snatch or hang clean and jerk. It was excellent. Dana, thank you for taking the time to do some fitness today. Thomas making an appearance to discuss some process things with us. <laughs> uh, Erica, thank you for the scout report today. And Amanda for taking the time to come by. Thomas, I know your busy work schedule. We're happy that you came by too. Tater, making sure to pop in. Thank goodness. You know, I get worried about you guys. <laughs> uh, Willie was here, but he had to, to go to a meeting, but he postponed it to hang with us. How awesome is that? All right, team, don't forget we have... Phillips cardio that we can do together, or if you do it on your own, make sure you tag Philip. Or if you do this workout, send him some birthday love. Philip's been with us from the beginning. He's always there to encourage everybody. So, <laughs> feliz cumpleaños, Philip. Diana said it best. That's what we'll end with today, gang. Yes. Oh my gosh, I must go couch stretch. You might hear me uh, <laughs> in another state, gang, but we're doing it. Thanks, Amanda. All right, team. Well, message me and we will figure out if we're going to go back to afternoon or do this uh, 9 a.m. slot. I, I feel like, uh, I don't know. You guys tell me. <laughs> Sorry about the 8 a.m. slot. My internet was, I'm just happy the internet, it seems to be happy around 9 a.m. So we'll take it. Uh -huh. Oh, thanks, Mike. That's a little bear. She's Roman. Chasing lizards. All right, team. Super thankful for you guys. Super, super thankful to celebrate Philip today. Phillip's just an awesome tribe member. He's been with us from the beginning. So we just wanted to honor him today, get some fitness in for him. So, Philip, we hope you have the best birthday yesterday and hope you know that you are amazing and the tribe is super thankful for you. I hope you guys have the best day. Praying for a speedy recovery, foul for uh, your son's elbow, Diana for your mama too. If anyone else has any prayer requests, keep us posted. We'll keep them going. Hope you guys have an awesome day.